Hi everyone, today we are going to check how we can make two type of revisions. To do this, we are going to be using just the architectural example that comes with Revit 2024. And we will see that there is um, like the best way that I know of on how to do this. There are other ways um, that are good as well. So we will just collapse all this in our project browser because we are only going to focus today on sheets so we will expand this and open any one of them and we will see that on the right side for this this case we have our revisions area right in another video i show you how to edit this one um, but in this case, we are going to only focus on the revisions. So let's go to you and revisions. And in this window right here, we can edit everything to do with the revisions. So we already have three of them. And on the numbering column, we see none, none, and numeric. In previous versions, this was called uh name of the revision so and this is due to when you are creating new so let's let's go ahead and create new revisions and here when we go to new revision we are going to give it a name um, for example let's let's do one we will do an alphanumeric and usually the name will be just something really really simple like the first example so this is p01 so i want all of them to start with p0 and then the sequence will be one two three four five six and seven and we click OK and now we have a new option on the numbering column. So we click OK and if I select this drop down I see my P01. Alright, let's go back to Alphanumeric. So usually what people do in here they don't go to or they could go to the customizer numbering but what they usually do is to go in here, alphanumeric, they go to edit, and there is, they start modifying this guy right here. I don't like that way. You could start doing P01, P02, and so on and so forth. It just, to me, that is inefficient when you do have a prefix, you can give it a name and you can have this sequence all right so just to me it's inefficient i like to do it this way so we create one that is it will be p01 p02 p03 and then another one that will be p01.01 so that will be my prefix p01.0 and again i will have a sequence of one two three four five six seven it's really hard to find seven revisions of the same drawing it just usually doesn't happen you gonna have multiple revisions of every drawing at every milestone but let's say that p01 is one milestone and then p01.01 is another milestone so it doesn't really make sense to have that many revisions uh, i can always go here and, and edit this and add more sequences i just don't feel like we will have something like that all right so i click ok and as you see here this is same per project and that is usually like 90% of the time not the case you will want to select per sheet so when you click on per sheet that means that this will only be applying 
to a specific sheet so you can have some sheets with with one revisions and others with others so let's see the difference let's start by using the per project option and uh, let's change here to p01.01 is giving me already a revision number so let's add another one all right and let's add another one but this one will be p01 so you see here that the revision 5 is p01.02 and if i click ok and in here on the properties window i go to revisions on sheet and i enter in here i unselect that one and I start clicking these guys and click ok okay let's unselect the first one and click ok I see the ones that I created. All right, let's see what happened when I untick the revision four. So I, I will unselect the revision four, and that's supposed to be P01.01, but because I have it per project, this is already defined on the revision. See? But if I now change per sheet, so everything will be per sheet now it doesn't matter if i have the revision 5 or the revision 4 the first one will always be p01.01 i like it this way just because you have different submissions with different drawings um just it just works most of the time like this all right so as I said before, you can add as many as you want as P0.01.01 and something, this puts number. And for example, if I want to add another P0 something, so this one is my P0 something. When I add it in here, you will see that it will go up. So this is pretty good i like it this way and um, if i go to another drawing and i only want to use the revision five and seven so for example i don't want this one i want the revision five and seven and you know that they used to be p01.02 and p02 but now because they are the first one to come in here they are P01.01 and P01. So this is working as expected.